actor. We got a celebrity in the house. He's one of my favorite actors, reprising his role from Gangs of New York. Let's give it up for Daniel Day Lewis right there in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> no, how you guys doing? This is my uh, first time in Denver. And um, I have to be honest, um, technically, in, I'm from DC where people don't knock on bathroom doors, they just walk in. So while I was pretty much handling my business up in there, somebody actually surprised me and knocked. So when I got up to respond, the pee kind of ran down my leg. So that's the warmest I've been since I've been here. Uh, <laughs> so technically, technically, I've come to the realization that I'm probably either the smartest person in Denver or the dumbest person. Because <laughs> am I the only one who realizes how fucking cold it is? Am I? I, I am convinced that, and I'm just gonna be honest, I'm convinced that white people do not get pneumonia or the flu. Like, y'all die from shit like ALS and cerebral palsy, while black people die from regular shit like diabetes, high blood pressure, and the tops. So, just let you know that. Um, yeah, man, this has been an interesting, I, I, I'll be honest with you, I honestly believe Denver is the place that all black people should come to, because you guys have a superpower that black people don't know about, like, for only white people can get something legalized that black people have been going to jail for for decades and that's weed. Like that is amazing to me. Like it is the most amazing thing in the world. Like y'all have a superpower. Like I want, fuck super, fuck being able to have super strength or run at the speed of light. If I had a superpower, I'd want to be white. Cause I want to know what it's like to go into a bank and get a loan approved on the first time. Um, to know that the cops are actually stopping you for what they're supposed to be stopping you for. You know, I mean, that shit is amazing. Like, Jesus Christ, man, what is it like to actually get paid what you're worth? <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just shit up. You know, it's crazy because I, I'm sitting up here thinking about what's a harder struggle. Like, what's What's really a hard struggle for me? Because I mean, yeah, we can get past the fact, all right, the elephant in the room, I'm black. Okay, yeah, 400 years of slavery, sitting in the back of the bus, whites only, yeah, that's difficult. But I'm starting to think it's more difficult having a dick. Because um, in this uh, world of Me Too generation, which AKA means she gave you pussy and she regrets giving it to you, is uh, really a trip. Like, you can't even touch a woman nowadays. Like, when I hug a chick, I go and I hug her, I swear to God, I hug her just like this. She's like, hey, Doug, give me a hug. I'm like, uh, all right, bitch. All right, how you doing? <laughs> you all right? You all right? She's like, put your arms around me. I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm like, I'm going to put my arms around you. This is exactly how I'm going to look in about five, ten years. So I went to the other day without my hands, just going like this. Yeah, girl, you feel that shit? You feel it? You know, just doing what it is I got to do. Um, but the truth of the matter is, man, it's not, it's cool being up here in Denver because the one thing I do realize is that the air here is mad thin. Like, where are my Denverites? Or I don't want to get biblical. Who's a Denverite or Denver Ithian? Two people? <laughs> Everybody else here is an implant? <laughs> no, nah, for real? All right, then let me speak to the Denverite. Is it true that avalanches cause more accidents than actual drunk drivers? Then why the <laughs> Are you sure? Because they shut down I-70 for a controlled avalanche. I've never heard of that before. A controlled avalanche is kind of like harmless racism or birth control. Those are the things that don't go together. Uh, but thank you. That's my time. Thank you. I'm done.